E S G E C T. So when you say something like sovereignty, and that really means that federally recognized tribes are independent and they have the rights to own their own membership. So then when you add visual language to sovereignty, you're creating visual sovereignty. And what that means is that each tribe has their own visual elements unique to them and they use it to specify who they are amongst all the other tribes. When I work, I really like to use Lakota symbols to identify that I'm speaking to a Lakota audience and they can recognize it and it's meaningful to them. So Rico, he's the owner of the Trickster Company and he really does the, his traditional form line designs in, from the coastal area up in Alaska. Ryan Redcorn, he's Osage from Oklahoma and he uses his traditional visual languages and he works and he also uses his alphabet which is really wonderful because he's also giving life to the way that they communicate. Douglas Miles, he does the Apache skateboards and he doesn't necessarily work in his traditional visual language, but he's developed a new visual language to identify Apaches. We are showing visual sovereignty. R -E -S -G -E -C -T. Fine.